another one. You know I got my family in here. You know it. What's up with my peoples? Look at What's you. Up, cousin? Hey, beautiful. <laughs> What's up, my beautiful cousin? What's up, cousin? Man, you know, I'm blessed to see you. Look at you shining. A diamond. As you should, as you should, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. How you doing? I'm good. I'm actually I'm great. You great, cousin. That's awesome. I'm great. How how life treating you? Excellent, cousin. Excellent. You deserve <laughs> you deserve everything you got and everything you got coming, cousin. You already know that. All right. Right. I I'm just blessed. want to. So I'm doing these KIU conversations. You know, I'm bringing bosses, entrepreneurs, my family, friends, and people who inspire and motivate me as well. You dig? So I just, I, I knew you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sit with some bosses, you know? <laughs> so I had, I had to bring you on, cousin. I had to bring you on here to, to tell people, um, not only about your business, but about your story, you know what I mean? And to inspire people like you inspire me every day, you know what I mean? Because I know you, I get to see it firsthand, but other people who might not know you or don't know what you're about, you know what I mean? I want them to know, so I, that's why I got you here today, and I thank you so much for giving me your time, cousin. Thank you for giving me the opportunity, cousin. Off top. It's my pleasure, cousin. It's my pleasure. Daniel, stop. It's not <laughs> That's my daughter in my. She all in the podcast. Tell her she got to. There you go. Quit playing around and make your cameo. You, you know what I'm saying? Hi. You know what I'm saying? Hi, cousin. What's up, cousin? How you doing? Good. How are you? You know, just trying to stay above the water. That's all. I heard that. <laughs> all right, cousin. So let's let's talk about let's talk about the kennel and 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 the dogs and stuff. Did you have um? Did you have dogs growing up? Cousin, I didn't. Remember, I told you, I said, cousin, I'm scared of them big dogs, right? <laughs> I, I had cats as a kid. I always had cats. And then I started off with little dogs, mm -hmm. you know? And then um, my ex-husband, he he got our first um, bully. Okay. And I just fell in love with him. You, you remember when I got him? I do. I was like, I love this dog. I was like, but I'm kind of scared. You was like, cousin, they the best. And and it just took off from there, cousin. Right, right. I, I, I remember I remember you saying, like, cousin, I don't know. I don't mess with these big dogs. I ain't used to all this. And I, I knew that, you know what I mean? I knew that they was going to grow on you and it was going to turn into something for you. I didn't know it was going to turn into this, but I knew that you was going to learn to love them. You know what I mean? They, 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 yeah, everything. It turned into, it, I love them. Like they turned into my emotional support when I was dealing with my health issues. Mm -hmm. And you know, they it was just like, I fell in love with the breed and it was just on from there. Talk about how they helped you through your, through your health, through, through your um, health issues. Talk about how they helped you cousin. Well, it was really the my main one, Reese. Mm -hmm. You know the brown one. It, it was really her. So what happened? I was going through. You know, I was going through a lot of family problems and health issues, and I moved out of state to just get my mind right. Mm -hmm. And it was just me and her. Like she, she was right there. Like she was like she knew when something was wrong with me. Like we were, we kicked it. Like that was my best friend. Yeah. I was like fuck dogs being a man's best friend. This is my best right. friend. Like, I didn't have no friends. I was out here alone. So I just had her. Mm -hmm. So everywhere I went, she was with me. And she was just like my little emotional support dog. She, mm -hmm. You know, she even used to make me laugh when I didn't want to, doing crazy shit. <laughs> you know how they do it. It's a whole different, like, it's something I never imagined. You right. know? Mm -hmm. And a dog could give me, to make me happy like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never, my little dog. The big dog is a little different. Like, you know, it's yeah. just something about it's something about that breed that I fell in love with. And when you first got, did you ever think about breeding or you just got the dog? Did your ex-husband got the dog for you or you got the dog with him? Or how did it? So my ex-husband got the boy. He, he, he wanted a pit bull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
it's this charger. Give me my charger. So he got, <laughs> he had in my room, he had got, he wanted a pit bull. But then I started doing the research on the bully. Yeah. I'm like, if we're going to get a pit, let's get the bully so we can at least make some money. You okay. know, yeah. right now the bully is, was, you know, it's, it's going to make the most money right now. Mm -hmm. So we actually got the boy dog. We was going to have him for our stud. Mm -hmm. But once I kind of fell in love with him, I was like, well, we might as well get a girl. Right. And that's when I got Reese. So when we split up, I gave him boss man and I kept Reese. Okay. And I, um, I kept her because I wanted the breeder. I got her the breeder. So I just kept on going with it by myself. Mm -hmm. So your first breeding was, was your first breeding in California or was it in Texas where you are? My first breeding was here in Texas, and it was crazy, cousin, because I bred. I tried to breed her three times, but mm -hmm. I was dealing with my cancer and all that. She she did not take. Mm. She wouldn't take three times. Like it was it was it was a trip. She didn't take. The last my last treatment, she took. The last one, like God wouldn't let me put too much on me. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so right. That last one. Matter of fact, let me back up. I end up getting my other girl dog named Coco. Mm -hmm. So I tried to breed Coco, and I had a surgical with Coco. Yeah. God gave me only one puppy cousin because mm. he knew I wouldn't have been able to deal with all that. Remember grandson? Yeah. I'm sure you think grandson uh -huh. on my page gave me one. A single puppy. Then right after my last treatment, I bred Reese and she took. Mm. I was I was already out here though. She took and um and now I keep I'm I got a litter I just had now. Right. So <laughs> now they coming like clockwork. I can't stop them from coming. Now at first they wouldn't take. Now right. they just coming. Every other yeah, you can't you can't take a litter. Month, I got a litter drop. <laughs> That's right. So how how has it been for you learning? Because of course you love the dogs, and that's the first part. But how has it been for you learning the business of it? Well, I do a lot of research, cousin, and I've I've learned a lot dealing with this. Like Reese, last litter, we end up losing her litter because you know I I didn't know what to look for, and I've always had a whelper. Mm -hmm. But I decided to do it myself this what, time. Before you go for it, what's a whelper, cousin? Because some people don't know. A, wel a whelper is somebody who deliver my puppies and they keep them for like two weeks, the first two weeks, mm -hmm. and then they come home. Because I, I don't, I don't know about that part. Of okay. It. I don't, I'm, I don't want to do that. It's too much. Yeah. You know? So I hire somebody to do that part of it for me mm -hmm. and to make sure you know the delivery go well but this time i decided to do it on my own and i shouldn't have done that okay and she lost all the pup she lost she ended up lost losing all the puppies and i almost lost her so mm -hmm. i'll never i don't want to go that route i got you what mm -hmm. do you what, what are some of the things that you think you might have no you missed that you didn't notice that you would notice next time if you had to so one of the puppies came down and, and they're in a sack mm -hmm. and I seen a sack but didn't know what it was. So and I, I just thought it was something black. I didn't know. And yeah. the puppy went back up. Well, they were too big to come out. So I didn't know what I was looking for. But I was everybody was like, you can do it yourself. And, you know, but yeah. when you don't know, yeah. I mean, I put my my number one dog in jeopardy of losing her life mm. you know playing with her life like that so when you don't know you have to have somebody to teach you or learn what you're doing or what you need to be looking for you know mm -hmm. i just didn't know i didn't know it was my first time and i shouldn't have done that do you have somebody like it's that? a lot it's a lot it's a lot more behind the scenes i didn't got big I, I didn't have big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the dog fight up in here. I didn't have to beat them with chairs and everything by myself. Cause, right. Because they territorial. Like, Reese, because it was me and her for so long, mm -hmm. she don't like none of them other dogs by me. So I didn't know that. And she attacked my Frenchie. And once she attacked, they all going to attack. So they yeah. all try to kill. They almost killed my Frenchie. So... You know, I had to break up a dog fight yeah. by myself. So, you know, it's a lot of shit I'm learning from this 
fish. I'm like, oh no, never again. You right, know, right. You gotta be careful. But, but I mean, if you don't know, you it it, it can be very dangerous dealing with these dogs, right? Especially these big ones, because Reese a hundred and like thirty pounds, and then Chanel is like a hundred and ten. Mm, mm, mm. And you know they all over a hundred pounds, and I'm fighting dogs trying to get to my little one. You right. know, so. If you don't really know, and I've learned now what I should have done, mm -hmm. but at the time I didn't know. So the first thing I do is grab for the mouth and get my finger damn near bit off. Yeah. You know? But now I know you got to lift them up from the back of their hind legs or either put a water hose in their face. But I didn't know because right, I was right. trying to grab them and throw them and do all kind of stuff and save my dogs. I'm trying to save your investment down there. Yeah, hell yeah. I see my I see my money on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a um like a person or a mentor that you trust or that you look up to that you could call and ask for questions and stuff like that? I do, I do. Um her name is Sabrina. She she her kennel was customized. It was customized brick. Um, bullies, but now she customized family Frenchies. She didn't switched over. She just do Frenchies. But anything I need, I call her. I go to her. I actually bought Boss Man from her, mm -hmm. and I bought uh, two Frenchies. My two two of my Frenchies from her. Okay. Yeah, but I I, I mean she she's 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 like my mentor. She tell me everything I know. If I have a problem, I don't know. I can always call her no matter what time. You know she. Yeah. She stayed behind her breed because I got her puppies, you know. So yeah. she made sure she gave me good advice on how to what to do with them and how to um, breed them and who I should breed them with. You know, we yeah. talk about all that. Do you think overall is is love in the dog world overall, or is it super competitive and they be hating? It's the dog world is so cutthroat. Okay. It's worse than, <laughs> hey, it's worse than the dog game. For real? <laughs> yeah. It's so cutthroat. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's it's cutthroat, cousin. Right. I, I would imagine. It, it, then, then you got tricks of the trade and people who got experience and know what they're doing. They they running papers and they doing all type of stuff. So I don't I know. know if you just seen what, I don't know if you just seen what happened to me, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, some uh, one of this young guy out of um, Arkansas, he stole one of my puppies. What? He stole one of my puppies. What? How does? How did? It was a breeding or what, what happened? So what happened was I sold him a dog. I sold him. He bought a dog from me. My mm -hmm. one of Reese puppies. Mm -hmm. He bought one of her puppies. So me and him became cool, you know. So I had all the pup. I had two litters of puppies. So he like, you know, first lady, I'll help you with the dogs or whatever, you know. So I'm like, well, maybe you could keep a couple of them over there. And then, you know, when we sell them, I, you know, I look out for you. Or So I let them keep my a couple of my puppies. And then one of them was sold. And when they were supposed to pick her up, he was like, the dog died. And the dog didn't die. Yeah. The dog did not die. You know, like it's. It's just cutthroat, and they right. hang. They do all kind of crooked shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, I mean, like I said, it's worse than it's worse than a dope game. I'm right. here with these dogs. What's what's the most you what's the most you think you spent? Oh, what's the, I know you're not you think, but what's the most you spent on a dog so far, cousin? The most I spent on a dog was sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Yeah. That you still got that dog. 000. I still got, I got seven dogs. Seven right now. Yeah. Including your Frenchies? Huh? Including the Frenchies? Including the Frenchies, uh-huh. I got, I got um, three, I got three um, bullies and four Frenchies. Okay. Uh-huh. And I see, I see how much you renovate and how much you build out and put into your program, how much how much time and effort goes into it. Cause I know people see, you know, these beautiful dogs and all that, but I know it's a lot of effort to keep it's them healthy. An everyday and... job. This is an everyday job. It's, it's a lot of work and I put a lot into it, but I get a lot out of it. Right. Like I put, I put my all into it. Like I do get tired though. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just me, you know, like yeah. I'm building, I'm doing a Frenchie house right now. Mm -hmm. 
don't know if you, you've seen that. I'm doing a Frenchie house where, you know, I'm going to have where they could go in and out in a little park and I'm doing a whole little house for them. Yeah. Because I can't keep them with my bullies no more since the attack. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. my park is for my bullies. So I got, I'm doing their own little house and park. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that keep you busy. And how was it transferring from the from the bullies to the Frenchies? I know is the Frenchies a lot more maintenance or which or how you see it? No, actually the Frenchies for me is, mm -hmm. is easier for me. Okay. Because even with my big dogs, I only got three. I well, you know what? I have um I got ten because I still got three puppies, but of okay. my own, I have seven. Mm -hmm. But like I can't walk all three of them. They're right. over all of them over 100 pounds. Like, I can't walk all three of them. If I just had the Frenchies, I could just take them out. Yeah. So, it's, it's I mean, it's pros and cons to to both. Like, I like the big ones, but the little ones is easier. Yeah. But my big ones is my protection, too. Right. So, what I do, what I do is if I walk a little one, I walk a big one. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's too hard for me to walk the big ones all together. They be dragging me, cousin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, cousin, did you did you grow up with entrepreneurs in your family or in your house um, growing up, or where did you get this hustle from? No, no, I, I, I'm not really. No, not in my house. But I, I mean, it's in me, not on me. Cause there you go. You know, yeah. it's, it's just it's just me. Anything I do, I'm going to do it. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just me. This but it, I didn't know. It, it wasn't in the, it was, you know, you know, grandpa. Right. <laughs> hey, listen, he was, hey, he was an entrepreneur for sure. Right, right, <laughs> right. Uh, and, and, I mean, an honorable man and a businessman too. Like, you know what I mean? You know, he used to be at grandma in them house every weekend. You know what I'm saying? You know what right. I mean? Religiously. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Right. That was their thing that they brought. I think that was one of their things they brought from the South as they means to hustle and bust moves and it just stayed consistent. That was one of their things that they brought like from back in the days. I remember them, them two red phones in the house and them books was like that. And that, cousin, you know what's crazy? Like, and when I was younger, I didn't know what they used to be doing. You know Me what I'm either. saying? I just know all these old men used to be coming in the house. I didn't know really what they was doing for a long time. Right. You know what I'm yeah. Then I was like, oh, okay. You know, and now today, you know, bet, betting on the games and shit, I'll be like, hell, that's what daddy knew. Was right. Doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> listening to the horses on the radio having them having them papers written out i'm like i'm like it couldn't be bad because because mama cream the big daddy ain't gonna do nothing bad you know what I mean? much as they be on us so i know whatever that is it must be some type of regular business all right 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um so where do you see your kindle in the next five years cousin Hopefully, cousin, what I'm trying to do right now is, so that's why I'm doing the Frenchie house, so I can kind of, like, grow it to where I don't got to deal with them. I can have, like, people dealing with them, and I can, I can rest. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm trying to do it like a whole business, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to have, like, at least 40 dogs. Right. And have people working them. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do <laughs> right, it right. for the rest of my my life you right know? but it, it, like like a kennel farm i don't know but something that i can kick back and you know yeah but you know it been it been it been good to me Man. so i ain't given up even though i didn't have times i wanted to right like when i got big but right. i can't like and then i feel like with with my dogs i can't let them down you know there you go they depend on me as, as much as I depend on them. Right, <laughs> right, right. There you go. Oh, yeah. I think that that's yeah. the beauty. That's the beautiful thing about it, cousin. Like, like I said, even when you said you got bit, I knew that was going to deter you a little bit. But you know, it's certain things doing certain things. Just like when they say when you riding a motorcycle, it's only two people: people that didn't bend down, and people that's gonna go down. So I would imagine anybody who got dogs, it's only two type of people: people who been bit and who about to get bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, yeah, but you know what? It's like nobody don't tell you the behind the scenes right. until it actually happens. 
right. to you. You know, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of stuff I never knew until it happened to me. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm thinking, you know, I know my dogs. My dogs, they, they don't bite, and you know, but nobody never told me you gotta be careful from this that. So I'm, I'm learning as I'm going. You know, mm -hmm. and so you know, it, it didn't been some hard little stumbles in this game. Right. You know, <laughs> to where I'd be like, man, this ain't for me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this is not for me. And I'd be saying, how did I, you know, I never even liked the dogs like that. How did I get into every dog? Every time I see you with a dog or I see you, I'll just be like, I just remember back to that day, to that picture. I was like, cousin, and you were just like, uh-uh, cousin. You that 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 dog, whichever one it was. He was damn near on his way out. He wasn't even good all the way yet. You would keep him in the kennel like, well, I'm going to see how you act. And then gradually he start right. getting out the kennel. Gradually he start being in your room. And then I'm like, okay, that's our best friend now. That, yeah, that was boss man. And then you you start seeing, I, 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 it didn't been so bad because I was like, I'm sleeping with a fucking dog. dog right. Like, I never thought I'd have a dog in my fucking bed. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> is this, look, I was like, God, is this what life is supposed to right. be? Like, like this? I'm sleeping with a dog. <laughs> Especially when I was sick. I was like, damn. Like, this is my life going to end for real. I'm sleeping with a real dog. Like, what am I sleeping with a dog? <laughs> I'd have had dogs before, but not this bad of a dog. <laughs> I was in the bed with a dog, nigga. I ain't never would have let no dog get in my bed. What the <laughs> hey, you know how they be like dogs supposed to be on the floor? They'll be the dog be in the bed. Right. I'd be like, I was like, what? How did this I get here? This is real different for me because the dog couldn't even come in the house. Right. Now it's in the bed. <laughs> hey, he in the bed making money though. I know that these right, dogs making right. money though. All right. And, and people be saying that to me. They be like. You got your dog. I say, yep. That dog showed it. As soon as she get washed, she's available to come in the house and get in the bed. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you get out. Now. <laughs> so, um, what was, 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 if anything was harder, what was the hardest part about moving, cousin, and relocating? You know what? It was not hard. It mm. wasn't hard. The hardest part was getting the shit, my shit down. And, and getting it out of there, huh? And yeah, because <laughs> it wasn't hard for me. I was ready to go. And I actually, when I came here to Texas, I found my peace. Mm. And sometimes you just got to do stuff. And that's why I be saying, like, I don't even know if this is my last stop because I didn't think this was going to be my first stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you don't know if you ain't never seen nothing until you experience it. So I still got a lot of shit to experience before I can say, oh, I'm going to be here for the rest of my life. I don't know where I'm going to be. Right. Because I think I like it here. You right. You know what I'm saying? Just like I thought I liked it in Cali. Yeah. I never thought I was going to move. You right. Know? So. And now I'm here. I ain't never going back there. But I don't know where I'm going right. forward. Right. I ain't going backwards. So. I know that's right, you cousin. Know? Yeah, I know that's you right. Know? You know, I don't live. Hey, when you moved, hey, when you moved, I was like, you really moved? Right. I listen, cousin. I couldn't believe it. If it wasn't for that lady, you know what I mean? She like right. She she she. Cause I swear I was so. I had cement in my shoes. I was so stubborn and stuck in the moment and. Just you know what I mean? I was I was lost for real, cousin. And she didn't even know how to how our relationship was. She didn't know how to tell me she wanted me to leave. You know what I mean? She right. she 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 didn't want to make it so I was keeping something from her, I guess. So she just kept the line of communication open, but she wasn't gonna tell me directly, like, I don't want you here no more, you know what I mean? So right. that was kind of where we had came to a head where she was just like, and then shit. Next thing you know, she she caught up in the in the mix, you know what I mean? Like like literally, I'm I'm thinking about leaving, and then she catch a case, and she like, I really don't want you out there, and I ain't there too. You know what I mean? Like I could I could right. imagine that'd be her worst fear. You know what I mean? Her being away right. and something happening. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I, man, Tennessee, I couldn't believe I was gonna be out there either. And like you said, I loved that in the moment. You know what I mean? For the time I was there, and then everything, you know, stuff just be keeping moving. You be thinking like you graduated from somewhere, a certain lifestyle, and this and you know, it take time. You know what I'm saying, cousin? 
Like you could change your location, but you gotta change your mind first. Or you gotta at, change your yeah. It's you know, more to it than just changing your location. You gotta change your mindset, everything. You know, you got it's that's a true saying. You gotta change people, places, and things. Right. You know, I had to cut off people and in order for me to keep myself on a straight and narrow and not try to get back to Cali, because you know everything I knew there. So when I come here with the dogs, I don't got no help. I don't got nothing. So right. I'm kind of like just meeting people and taking chances and, you know, people letting me down. And, you yeah. know, but the, 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 the thing about it is I'm better off than I was in Cali. Right. So even if it get hard, I always say, you know, I'm in a better situation here than I am there. So definitely, definitely. Even when I even when I feel like shit, I be feeling like, damn, I need help. I need somebody to come. I need, I need to go back home because I know you know everybody gonna help me if I was right. back there. But right. I be thinking like, it ain't that much help in the world. <laughs> I ain't going back. My son don't even want to come out here. He won't even come help. Right. <laughs> you know, at least if I was at home, I have my son, you yeah. know. But he come out here for a week and he gone. He ain't he ain't trying to move. Ha. He where I was when I was his age. Right. In the, in the mentally and in, in, <laughs> geographically. Right, right. How good how good yeah. is it to to have your other baby there with you? It's good to have, you know, I feel good that she here and mm -hmm. I feel like I wish my son would come, but yeah. you know, he got a one in on his own. But if, if both of them was here, I feel real good. I you know, understand. But it feels good that I got, I got her here. Now I'm working on him. Right. How long did it, did, did she come right away or you had to convince her? No, she can I was here for two years. Oh, okay. You, she know, don't, yeah, I you had, you had to drag I, her out too, huh? Cause you had to drag her out, huh? I bought her a house out here because you know, she didn't like you want this house or not. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to get you a house out here. I want her because you know, when I was dealing with my situation, I was like, I don't know what might happen to me. So I want to make sure my kids are straight mm -hmm. in case you know I prepared myself for whatever was gonna happen with my health, mm -hmm. you know. So I was just like, I want to make sure my kids are good. If something happened to me. So I was like, I want to buy you a house. I know I can't buy a house in Cali. Yeah. I want to buy you a house here. You know what I'm saying? So if anything happened to me, I know y'all straight. Right. You know? That's a yeah. blessing. That's definitely a blessing. Mm -hmm. I, I know she know how, how much of a blessing you are and 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 vice versa. You know what I mean? It's it's right. it's it's such a, a beautiful thing to be able to experience those things with your baby, you know what I mean? And experience life with her, you know what I mean? Especially, like you said, cousin, with your help and how life happens and to have these second, third, fourth chances and to understand how precious they are, that's the real value in it, you know what I mean, cousin? Yeah, 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 that's what I was like, cousin, it was like, I didn't know. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But all I knew was I prepared myself for the worst mm -hmm. and I hope for the best. You there know you what go. I'm saying? Hey, cousin, I got the call. They say, you ain't got cancer nowhere. It's gone. Hey, man. You don't even got to take a pill. You don't even got to do an, another. I thought I was going to have to do radiation. They said, you ain't even got to do radiation. It's done. Man. We don't even see no signs of it. You, it came in my neck. Mm -hmm. It was coming everywhere. So I was like, I don't know where it's going to come next. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and I got that last call. I got, I was, they was like, you ain't got to take no more pills. You ain't got to do nothing. You free and clear. It's nowhere. It's gone. God so, is good, cousin. God I is so blessed. good. I and was blessed. You was blessed and you, 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 you like, you a fighter, cousin. You so resilient. You know what I mean? And just, and I know days was dark and it was days where you was like, man, I'm so tired of this shit. You know what I mean? I was but, cousin, the last. At the end, the last two treatments, I, I was like, I can't do it no more. I told my doctor, I said, I, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then my daughter was like, you, you, because I had to do eight. She was like, you got more, you almost finished. You might have school through the last two. I was like, I can't do it. And then I said, I'm going to do one more. 
And then I did that one. I said, okay, I got one more. Right. You know, so then I was done. You know, I was like, I pushed myself for them last two, but I was almost like, nope, I ain't doing it. Yeah. We wasn't gonna we weren't gonna let you anyway. Nah, nah. They, <laughs> I was everybody was like, you gonna do them last two. <laughs> yeah. So let me see for, for, for my for my close out question, because you, know, you already know what I'm gonna ask you. What was your friend Linda Price like? What was your auntie Linda Price like? What was she like? How was that, how was y'all time together when y'all was going through it and doing y'all thing? You know what, cousin? We got that she you know what she taught me and I I mean this and this is something that stuck with me. And when I say this, I mean this. She taught me how to be alone and don't deal with people. Mm. She was she was to herself. I swear to God, the only person when we was doing what we was, she dealt with was me. Right. You would see her walking by herself. She didn't deal with nobody because she just dealt with me, the whole thing. We talked about everything. She told me how to not trust people. She, I mean, she gave me so much game that, you know what I'm saying? I thought I knew, you know, I thought I knew everything. Right. She gave me a lot of game that stuck with me that, you know, we had our one-on-ones because I, when I say she knew how to do her time and didn't talk to nobody but me. Yeah. Not one person, cousin. <laughs> not one person. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. And if it was, it was it was just a my a basic little conversation. But to sit down and get in all that blah blah blah, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. wasn't with that shit. Right. So she taught me, she told me a lot, and she taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? She taught me how to roll solo. Right. And she told me that. Now she, she, she told me that. You know I ain't straight up, me. straight up, cousin. Yeah, she told me you roll solo. Mm. She said, you need. You need to. I was talking to everybody. Right. This, over here with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. She said, oh, We ain't doing that. Right. <laughs> we ain't doing Get that. Get over here. Yeah. If you need, she said, If you want to talk, you come up and talk to me. Right. Quit talking to all these. You know what she said. Yeah. Quit talking to all these. <laughs> you know? Yeah. She gave me a whole lot of games. We didn't, have, we didn't talk for hours and hours. We didn't have nothing. Talk, right, you know what I'm saying? So she she taught me a whole lot, and I love her to this day. I love her to death. Right. And I cousin, I was gonna be on the other side right with her again. Right. I thought I was just to be right with her again because I'm damn sure wanna see her again. Now you know what I'm saying. Not just not yet, cousin. Not, not quite yet. She'd have been like, hold up, not yet. Time. But when it's time, that's right. We gonna have them conversations. Again, right, day. straight up, cousin. I straight up, to, I love her so much. And talking, getting to talk to you and see how you carry yourself, and just you know how much of a, a hustler and a go getter, and how much you are about your family, and just reminds me of her so much, cousin. And you know, you um, embody her spirit in so many different ways, cousin. So you know, I just. Right. I just want to tell you how much you motivate me, how much I appreciate you, how much I love you, how much I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? And I just, I thank you for taking out your time today. I just had to come give you your, your roses, cousin, your flowers. You know what I mean? You appreciate you, 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 you deserve them all. Thank you know what I mean, cousin? Yeah, thank you. And I love you too to death. Yes. And I'm going to tell you one thing for sure, for sure. Your mama love the fuck out of you, boy. <laughs> hey, hey. That's all she talked about. I know. I know so much about your business. <laughs> I, come on, cousin. I already know. Your cousin is a mess. <laughs> That's all she talked about every day. Every day. It ain't a day that we talked that your mom didn't talk about how how much she loved you. Like you are baby. That was my heart. She loved you to death. I love. I I love yeah. her, man. I love her like man. That was my dog, but. She was my best friend, and people be asking me like, you know what? How you had your perspective in the game? You got if they only knew. I'm like, I, if this is the Matrix, I'm Neo, and she's the Oracle. You know what I mean? She got all the information, right. and she just and even when I wasn't listening, and now that I see and I start applying it, and I understand. You know what I mean? That's why I be trying to give it back to other people so much. You know what I mean, cousin? And I know she's proud of you. 
She proud of you. Thank you, cousin. Thank and you. I'm proud of you too, cousin. Thank you, I'm cousin. Proud of you. Thank you so right much, here. cousin. Ta um, I, I, you ain't finna have me crying in front of these people. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> um, tell them where they can right. tell them where they can find the kennel. Tell them where they can get a dog from. Tell them where to find you at, cousin, if they want to get a they real a Instagram, real dog. First Lady Kennel. First Lady Kennel. They can find me right on Instagram. I'm 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 there. And don't come I cheap either. Them. First Lady Kennels, come get you a real Frenchie, a real bully, not none of that play play like they be saying. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I, I be watching, so I know the language, man. But well, we gonna come up with fresh lingo for my cousin, yes, Debbie, because we got some real, real dogs out here. You dig? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, cousin, I love you. Um, I'm gonna send I this to you. you. I'm gonna send you this thing so you can have it. Uh, it'll be on YouTube in a couple of days. As I said again, I appreciate you so much. I love you and keep doing what you're doing, cousin. I love you too, cousin. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, love you. All right.